watching Runtime, your finger on the pulse of the software world. I'm Lainey Brown. And I'm Luke Massey. Welcome to our show. Today, we're going to be talking about podcatching software. Podcatching. Which is software you use to... Catch this show. Catch this show or other podcasts. Mainly this show. And this is the second in our multi-part series on podcasting. And uh, we went ahead and looked at two programs, Juice and iPod, iTunes. iTunes. Sorry, Juice used to be called iPodder. Yeah. I was going to say iPodder. I like saying Juice. 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 Well. Apple Juice. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and talk about Juice, and you can tell us about iTunes in a minute, okay? Juice. It's easy to use, as you can see. You can see it's got all these big pretty buttons across the top there. It's got a nice list here showing you all of your podcasts that you're subscribed to. Mm -hmm. And we'll just go across the top and talk about these buttons. There's a big green one with two arrows. And that is for refreshing the podcast list. It'll go check all your feeds and see what's been updated and download all the new shows. Yay. And then there's the sort of burnt orange button. Yes, the one burnt arrow orange. and the clock. Not just regular orange, burnt orange. Yeah, it is. It's burnt because this program burnt. is hot. And uh, you push this button and it's the catch up button. And no, it doesn't serve condiments. What it will do is... <laughs> oh, it's not red. Right, so it's not red. What it does is you push the button and it will mark all of your current podcast as being viewed, even if you haven't viewed them, and it will get all, it'll get the latest episode from each podcast. So basically if you, you know, were gone for a week or had better things to do and didn't get to watch everything, you don't have to watch them all. You can just mark all the current ones viewed and watch just the newest, newest ones. But in this one you have to watch all of them or you'll miss something. Yeah. So watch all of them. Runtime. Don't miss runtime. Never. Exactly. Never want to Never. skip runtime. Because we'll kill you. Or you'll miss something funny. The next button is a little green plus. That's one of the most useful buttons. This is for adding a feed. Okay. So what you do is you go to a website such as pottedmeat.com and you uh, find the uh, little feed icon. It's this orange boxy thing. It's got... Thing is it? Yes. Very good. Looks kind of like radio waves coming out. Exactly, because it's a feed. Because it's a feed. And uh, if you're lucky and everything's set up right, you can click on it and it'll add it automatically. But that doesn't necessarily work. Yeah. So what you do is you right-click on it. It's invasive mode. Oh, no. It, just, it doesn't necessarily work all the time. It could. But what you can always do is you can right-click on it and you, pu you can push copy link location if you're using Firefox. Or if you're a Microsofty using Internet Explorer, it'll say copy shortcut. But it does the same thing. And then you come back here and you push the green plus, and it opens up this convenient dialog, and you just find where it says URL and paste it in there. And you just do that. You just right click on the blank place and push paste, and it'll pop up in there. For everything that you paste and put. Same person. And you can just push save. And next to that is the scheduler button. It's got like a clock and a calendar, a little checkbox. Mm -hmm. And that lets you choose when you want to actually download your feeds. And you can just have it check every couple hours or you can set specific times during the day. Maybe you want it to download all your podcasts while you're asleep so you don't have to wait. It'll just be there for you in the morning. Yay. And then what it does when it downloads them, it takes them all and puts them in a handy folder under My Documents. Ah. So you go to My Documents and then My Received Podcasts, and they'll all be right there for you. Very convenient. Very convenient. You close everything down and just go to the documents. One thing that bothers me is you can't watch any of your podcasts or listen to any of your podcasts within Juice. Ah. Just, just what happens, you can click on them, but it'll just open up whatever your default media player is, Windows Media Player or uh, iTunes or something else. Mm, but you can't use that on the Juice. Set a certain one that you want it to play. Right, yeah, there's a, an option. You can pick which Instead media player if you want to use a different one. So you don't have to worry, except uh, our key grip mark tells us if you do that, it will open the one you picked, but it will also open the default, so you might end up having two media players open up at mm, once. Echoed. Yeah, it'd be kind of annoying. Or fun. So why don't you tell us a little about iTunes? Ah, iTunes. Well, okay. We'll start with the positive things. The positive Maybe things. Maybe we'll talk about the negative things. I don't know. We'll talk about the positive things first. Okay. Okay. Just <clears> like <throat> in uh, the juice, you can go to the advanced thing to get your uh, podcast. It's streamed. under advanced. Yeah, it's under advanced. And, okay, uh, you open up the, well, the little box. The little drop-down menu, and then click on the subscribe to podcast, and it'll pop up the URL box, and then, you know, for everybody that's already 
got it saved. Just insert and hit OK. okay. And it'll start uploading your new podcast. Cool. You could also go over to the, on the side menu, go over down to the side menu. Oh, okay. To where the music store is. Yeah. And go in the music store, and then there's another little box that has podcasts. Cool. You can click on podcasts, and then go over to the next screen, and it's got the little kids with the stupid glasses <laughs> going on. And they're all happy. What's, this, what's the deal with the burnt orange color, by the way? I, I, I guess know. that apparently, means podcast. Apparently, burnt orange is the color of choice for video podcasts. That's retarded. Hey, it's Apple. What do you want? Red. Red. <laughs> so, you click on the dumb square that's orange. Okay. And then that'll take you to all the video podcasts that they have inside the iTunes music store. And then, well, for us, you have to search because you guys have not made us your favorite I don't know. Yet. What's up with that? Up with right that? now. Right, right now, everyone wait. go. Subscribe. Podomy.com. Subscribe. We're gonna, wait. We'll wait. Go ahead. Okay, good. Now that everyone... You, go. We'll get away again. Okay. Now that everyone's subscribed, uh, you can go ahead and tell us a little bit okay. more about how this yeah, works. Everybody's got subscribed. So when you click on the runtime icon with us on there, and me, it looks like I'm going to pick your face or something like that, because <laughs> I am. That um, you know, you can subscribe there for free. It's free, oh. and uh, it gives a little description of uh, the runtime, the pod- podcast description, and everything. And uh, also, we've got customer reviews. So give us your info. We want to hear what you have to say. Pretend that we think it's important. And then we do think it's important. We pretend. No, we really do. I love hearing people talk good about me. It's fun. I like hearing people talk about me, too. Okay. So, after you do that, you subscribe, and then it should start, you know, do the whole little URL box thing again, and you're subscribed, and it's uploading. And cool. it also has a scheduler, and, you know, when you want it to upload, all that other great stuff that Juice has also. But... Um, iTunes has a video. You know, you don't have to set a default player. So, except... Oh, that's nice. Well, here here we come to the negative things. Oh. Negative things about iTunes is that the little video thing, little tiny box, way in the corner. And you guess it there. Click it like four times just to get it the size that you want. That's annoying. It is really annoying. <laughs> and it's stupid things to pick. Anyway. So that's one of the negative things, but okay. it's positive in the same time because it's got the video feed on there already. It is more convenient. Also, if for some reason you decide to get the podcast feed again, like if they change the picture or something, and you're like, ooh, maybe it's something new, but no, you're retarded. It's the same thing. So now you have two of them on your playlist. It's funny that you should say people are retarded because didn't you do this? It wasn't an accident, though. It was with music. I okay. didn't do it with the podcast. Okay. I knew. I I knew. I'm smart. So it, it added it twice to your playlist, and I yeah. didn't know it was well, the same I, thing. It didn't add the podcast twice to my playlist. It added music. Oh, okay. so Like demo CDs or whatever. Oh, well, that's still annoying. So iTunes does not recognize that the two things that say the exact same thing are the exact same thing. So instead of just copying over them or keeping the one that's better, then they just... just Stick it right there, play them both well, right in a row. Especially if you have everything in like al- alphabetical order or something. So that's retarded. Well, it takes up more space. It pisses you off. So and some don't. overall, iTunes is pretty nice. It's got a couple of annoying things. Personally, I despise iTunes. Yeah, don't say yes to anything of iTunes. Right. Always answer no unless like you want it to take over your it's computer. It's tricky sometimes. Like, yes. Do you like ponies? Yes. No. Yeah. Sure. Well, yeah. Ponies I like are... ponies. Yeah. Haha, we took over your computer. Crash. Ooh. Okay, well don't don't tell iTunes you like Paul. <laughs> All right. Um well we gotta take a little break here. We're gonna do some news and uh, we'll be I back in a, a second. Take a nap. No, we're gonna take a nap. You, you can't stay take a here. nap. You have to sit There's and news, listen to the news. And it's cool and you're gonna learn all kinds of useful things and we'll be right back. The world doesn't end, dynamite found in airplane luggage, and the abortion pill now available over the counter in America. Hello, I'm Mark Hopkins, and you're watching Potted Meat. August 22nd came and went, 
and Iran's doomsday announcement was somewhat anticlimactic. There is no talk of nuclear weapons. There is no discussion of nuclear weapons. We are not a threat to anyone, Iranian president said. A college student was detained on Friday after a customs agent found what they suspected was dynamite in his checked luggage, but authorities said he was not involved in terrorism. And finally, women can buy the morning after pill without a prescription, the government declared last week. This move is viewed by some as a major step that failed to quell the politically charged debate over access to emergency contraception. For more news and information and entertainment, head over to PottedMeat.com. I'm Mark Hopkins, and you're watching Potted Meat. And welcome back to Runtime. It's time for, actually, no, wait, it's time for viewer mail. We got fan mail this week, yes. so we're going to read some. We'll get more next week, right? Yes, tons We'll of get fan more mail. next week. All this of is you. <laughs> this one is from Wes on MySpace. And I think we have a picture of him somewhere. And Wes, the subject of this is kudos. Handsome guy. I like, I like kudos. They're tasty. The granola bars and the chocolate. Yeah. Well, I like yeah. granola, but... Yeah. So, okay. This message says, caught your potted meat. Nice. A little over my head tech-wise, but I'm paying attention. You're spot on with the news segment. Simply love the music. Keep it up, Wes. Thanks, Wes. What you got? Right there. Oh, and there's a note here that says something about mentioning that our key grip slash producer does music or something. Anyway, yes. um, <clears throat> this next message is from Katie, also on MySpace. And it says, hey, I watched the Potted Meat video, and I must say, fantastic. I wasn't able to see the second video, maybe my computer, but I just wanted to let you know the other one was great. I'll add a link to my blog so all my readers will come and check you out. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Katie. Mm, Katie, I checked you out. Nice boobs. Yes. <laughs> and anyone that wants to go ahead and add a link to us to their blog or their website or, you know, post a bulletin about it on MySpace. I do it like four we'll times a day. love you forever if you do that. Yes. Every day. <laughs> Thousands of posts from Laney about how great potted meat is and how I should watch it. I'm proud of us. I am too. A lot. So yes, link to us. We love being linked to. And um, for those of you who think your computer is broken because you would, couldn't watch the first episode of Nukes Cube, it was actually our website and it's fixed now. Yes. So go watch ah. it. Watch so your Nukes computer Cube. doesn't suck as much as it does. You're doing the news. I'm doing the news. Okay, the first headline, where's the checkbox for new FBI computer system it is so bad I plan to go on a crime spree. Back in 2004, TechDirt.com wrote about how hundreds of millions of dollars had been spent over the previous four years on a new computer system for the FBI that apparently didn't actually work and was useless for catching terrorists. After that was announced, it still took the FBI another seven months before announcing they were getting rid of the system. And even after that, it still took another year for them to agree to spend hundreds of million dollars on a new system, but that one's not even going to be ready until 2009 or maybe later. Is it any wonder that the FBI employees who are working on the computer system already feel the need to hack the system just to get some work done? No. Apparently a, a professional nerd. Uh, well, computer scientist, Lainey. I'd like to be called a professional nerd. You are a professional nerd. This guy has a degree. I have a degree. Do you have a degree, Lainey? I could. Anyway. Oh, okay, so a computer scientist professor who uh, reviewed the system actually quoted saying that he was actually planning on going on a crime spree the day that it was switched over. Whoa. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Yeah. And in other news, FBI computer system so screwed up you need to hack it to get stuff done. The incredible saga of the FBI's over-budget $500 million computer system that needed to be scrapped after it turned out it was useless for fighting terrorism apparently had some other problems as well. The news came out today that a contractor hired to work on the system was so frustrated by the bureaucracy needed to get anything useful done, even something simple like you know adding a printer to the network. He was so frustrated with this, but he that he. Uh, went ahead and downloaded just this, I don't know, some tool off the internet and used that to breach network security. And he ended up stealing something like 38,000 FBI passwords, including the FBI director, Robert Mueller. Nice. Yeah, Robert Mueller's FBI password. 
So uh, <clears throat> ended up getting charged and pled guilty to various charges, even though the FBI admits that he only appears to have done what he did in order to do actual work. Yeah, I don't know what's uh, more disturbing, whether that the uh, you have to hack, that the FBI system is so easily hacked, or that you have to hack into it to actually get it to work. I know, it's pretty ridiculous. It's Okay, news break. Ooh. FBI's new computer system, late, over budget, and useless at finding terrorists. So, back in 2000, the FBI decides that their computer system is, you know, out of date and finally needs to be upgraded. So, okay. the, uh, the plan was is that they're going to take a whole bunch of our money and uh, that fix it and get it to be completed by 2003. Sounds like a government project. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. by, by 2004, <clears throat> and a whole bunch more money later, they uh, looked into it and the surveys say that uh, it's still a piece of crap. Wow. So uh, the, the original uh, design for it was to help with investigations instead of, right. you know, finding terrorists. And apparently the designer didn't make it flexible enough to where that it could, you know, focus on just whatever it was trying to fix. Hmm. And uh, so instead, they're just going to keep spending more of our money and then start over from scratch. Oh. <clears throat> I guess that explains why the FBI is so good at tracking down kids sharing files, but can't really seem to tell the difference between these uh, video game vandals and actual terrorists. We're video game vandals. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Not terrorists. Okay, we're almost finished. We have okay. one more thing. <gasps> Buzzkill, Buzzkill, Buzzkill. That's right, Buzzkill. Buzzkill. <clears throat> What's our first word? Ooh. <laughs> Time toilet. Time toilet. Toilet. Do -do 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 -do. And this is actually not for sending poop back to the future. Time toilet is any project or assignment, meeting, or whatever that ends up taking way longer than it was supposed to, effectively flushing your entire day down the toilet. Whoosh. Yes. And what's our next word? Okay. Targeted completion date. Uh, targeted completion date. It's such a comforting word. It's used to give the impression that the project is going to be done on a certain date. That's the date we're going to finish. Of course, everyone working on the project knows there's no way in hell it's actually happening. Yeah. It, it gets time toilet. Right. Full of time toilets. It's like a bathroom of time toilets. I don't know. Um, okay. Well, that's all the time we've got for today. So. Email us. Haha. <laughs> at runtime at pottedmeat.com. Okay. Put links to us on your website and blogs. We like links. And. and Tune in next week for the next part in our podcasting series where we're going to be talking about making your own podcast. Whoa! It's going to be terrific. Not better don't than ours, though. miss it. No. Ours, is, ours you, is the greatest. I don't know. Someone out there might do better. Ask a Ninja. Ask a Ninja is very good, but ours is still better. Oh, Runtime oh, is better than yeah. Ask a Ninja. Right. Don't tell him I said that, though, because he'll probably kill me. Painfully. Kill you! Okay. Well, that's all the time we've got. So we'll see you guys next week. And... Watch Don't our show. Miss it. Watch A it. bunch. Watch it. Over and over. I'm Luke Massey. I'm Lady Brown. And you've been watching Runtime.